<clears throat> What's up? If you guys are seeing this, guess what that means? I'm back. I'm fucking back. And full, like a full smile, like my fucking second Long Island in. Y'all already know how the fuck I do this shit and every time. <clears throat> so, it is official. Yes, I am back. Expect multiple uploads. So, I'm going to go ahead and start with Empire and get Empire out of the way. So, the next several videos will be Empire. I have not decided what will come after that. But, just know that Real Housewives of Atlanta will be on time for tomorrow. Just want to put that out there. So, <clears throat> that being said, <clears throat> picking up where... I left off because y'all know I do talking points, so I'm not gonna sit and get y'all fucking review. Y'all, hey, we y'all know already watched the shit, so it's really no need for me to give a fucking review and shit. <clears throat> so we got Lucius, those are real shit, throwing some major fucking shade, talking about some first rule of the road: don't bring your girlfriend, I mean your boyfriend. He fucking meant that shit. I, I, I know y'all called it because I caught the shit too. It's like, oh, that was so fucking grimy, you know, but. It's Lucius, you feel what I'm saying? <clears throat> now, one thing that I do want to talk about a little bit is uh, Andre and the whole uh, confessing of sins. I haven't watched everybody's reviews. Like, I am like 500 YouTube videos behind on some real shit. Like, my Google is like, my Gmail is just like, eh, missing a lot. So, I haven't watched anybody's shit. But <clears throat> what I will say is, I can understand why Andre's pastor wanted him to uh, go to his family and confess his sins. Um, in Judaism, <clears throat> you have uh, Rosh Hashanah, which is the Jewish New Year, and 10 days in between that, and then you have Yom Kippur. Yom Kippur is the Day of Atonement. That's the day that uh, we Jews as a collective come together and we're pretty much praying as one and we're praying that God forgives our sins to him but he can only forgive sins that we commit against him <clears throat> God cannot forgive any sins that we commit against another person so it's up to us to go to that individual person and make right with them different than Christianity of course and I'm not here to draw comparisons and you know start an all-out battle but <clears throat> It's one of those things where I can understand, you know, pretty much confessing your sins to them, more or less making peace with them. Because the reality is in making peace with them, he's making peace with himself. And, you know, and and y'all probably will hear me say this in the next couple of videos because I didn't. Yeah. But it's like in the black community, we do our best or from what I from what I've experienced in my life, more or less, is you don't. um Talk about what goes on at home. You feel what I'm saying? You keep everything bottled in. You don't talk about it. And when you don't talk about it, it breathes so much darkness, hatred, resentment, and everything else. And not only in talking about it most of the time, <clears throat> or even confronting the problem more or less, can give you any type of closure and help you move on. So that's pretty much what it is, is acknowledging the fact that you've sinned against someone and going to that person and opening up. And, you know, hoping that that person, you know, more or less will forgive you, but you're taking the first step. But the main thing is regardless of whether he or she forgives you or not, you forgive yourself. Because I'll be honest, and, and I'm not trying to turn this into a spirit and soul, but one thing to remember <clears throat> is the most important thing that you can do is forgive yourself. And I mean that wholeheartedly. And not to be, you know, uh, anti-God or anything like that. But I've known so many people to sit here and pray and repent to God and still feel like shit. I've known people to sit here and go ask somebody else for forgiveness and still feel like shit. You know what I'm saying? It's just like, those are good measures, those are good means. But in the end, you know, until you forgive yourself, you're at peace with yourself, you owned what you did, you owned your past, and your past can no longer be thrown in your face, only then can you be free of whatever it is that's going on. Enough about that getting back to Empire because I know y'all are just like I done took y'all to the good book up back forth and all the way through child I know I did What else child with Tiana got stuck up Did y'all see that shit? Oh some real shit It took me back to the Proud family I know some of y'all caught it The gross sisters like she got smooth stuck the fuck up by the gross sisters And shit one was gross looking any motherfucking way I'm just saying 
they ain't none of my business. I need a motherfucking refill. I shouldn't came on here with a empty, barely empty glass. I can't be doing that shit now. Mm -mm. Okay, hold on now. <laughs> the, the, the fucking RTs is a fucking clown, y'all. This motherfucker is trying to give Jamal a head. Also, I'm watching this shit like, what is he doing? Also, real shit, trying to get his boy some motherfucking head. And then he has the fucking audacity to say a mouth. A mouth is a mouth. My whole thing is this. I'm gonna need for him to not sit here and try to, you know, corrupt. A house is not a home, you know. A chair is still a chair. Even when there's no one sitting there. That's what it is. Don't sit here and say a mouth is a mouth. I'm so fucking through. Moving the fuck on. Delgado not afraid to get his hands in it. I'm just trying to figure out, you know, why the fuck are we having a... What movie was it by Tyler Perry's? Um, I could do bad by myself. Why the fuck are we having a motherfucking reunion shash union on motherfucking Empire and shit? Okay, and then he's shading the fuck out of cash money, but we ain't gonna talk about that. What else we got on him? <clears throat> oh, yeah, and... uh. Rhonda trying to give up the potassium, trying to spread them legs, legs to the moon. You know, Andre 3 that was said spread, trying to spread them legs, and Andre shutting that shit down. And I've been telling y'all for videos now that hoe ain't pregnant. I'ma keep fucking saying it till y'all get it, get it in y'all mind. She ain't pregnant. Mm, mm she ain't pregnant. What else we got? A pimp name slipped back in Andre. It's <laughs> it's crazy because like Andre, if you guys. Don't know, but you should. He's reinstated. He is the president of Gutter Live Records. <laughs> and, um, you know, these two have, you know, had a little, uh, spat with each other. And, um, pretty much a pimp name slipped back, you know, hit his ass with the O, oh, and I thought we made nice when we were in the dirt. And it's one of those things where it's just like, you know, he hit him with some shit. And all I'm gonna say is this, cause I'm not finna stay on nigga. I know y'all be like, stop doing that. But look, y'all, some real shit. Don't compromise. Because the moment you compromise, that can be thrown back in your face so many times over. Again, but if you own what it is that you've done, nobody can throw anything in your face. Remember that. What the fuck else we got? Oh, shit. I'm trying to figure out what I said about my nut. Oh, yeah, Hakeem trying to push up on Lil, you know, Lil Mulatto drop. You know, Lil, you know coffee drop I'm so cute she shut his ass down you know but you know she she gonna fall to the dick though we all know that what else we got oh y'all my michael is a hoe my my michael is a hoe michael is a hoe i was so disappointed <clears throat> motherfucker got caught now both got caught with they fucking pants on zip the only thing is this motherfucker up on, up on the motherfucking beam and shit like that like come on michael <clears throat> come on michael Come on now, like, I'm, I'm just sitting here like I'm pretty sure if you would have walked up to Jamal, you know what I'm saying, you know, rub your head through his nappy ass fro, went the whole, you know, did that, that, you know, come, we, we men, you know, we like for the, for, for the fucking balls be jiggling and shit, just go ahead and jiggle the balls and shit, I'm pretty sure he would have gave it to you, I'm just saying, or maybe it would have been a this for that, I don't know, I'm just doing some shit out there, but you, you, you don't turn into no hole now. Nah. You don't turn to the whole shit, cause here's the all of the motherfucking world mad that he fucking got back with your ass, hoping that he stayed up with the other with, with the brother. Okay. Hey, you, you fucking up the interracial shit now. And then of course the big thing, Lucius, um well, Andre and the Baptism and um Lucius, and they're really starting to uh show heavy parallels between uh Lucius and his mother. And we're really starting to see a lot of that come uh, full circle. <clears throat> and we see that Lucius way back when had I mouthed up to his mother and she was dumping him in water. I was thinking the water was hot, I guess not. But as she's dunking him, she's singing. I would assume that was a hymn. And as he see Andre get dunked, he has this flashback. And uh, yeah, he pretty much walks out. And the last thing that I'm gonna leave y'all with, cause I know, I know y'all probably tired of me preaching to y'all and everything. But what I will say is this, but this kind of ties into a lot of what I was saying. And I'm probably gonna say this again, but when it comes to our past and everything, we do have to own it. And not just in owning it, 
really come into terms and to grips with a lot of what has happened because I've even learned in my life that because of how things have happened to me in my past and how I've dealt with things in my past, it really plays into how I deal with things in my present and possibly in my future. <clears throat> You know, just how I respond naturally, how I interact with people. I can tie all of this back to something in my past. So just something to leave you guys with. That's all I got for the talking points for this Empire episode. Stand by, because I got three more coming. Three more coming. So, just know that I am back. Peace.